So this is the brand new Fido S17 which is considered one of the best Chrome OS alternative because of its Android support and also the Google Play Store. So watch the video till the end to find out how you can install Google Play Store and also this OS on your computer. So first of all if you visit the uh, wallpaper section you will notice that the icons for your account are animated and this looks really cool and you can even upload your own pictures and for wallpapers we have three new wallpapers and they have this prism effect which will also looks quite cool and uh, we also have their dark mode counterpart so you have got that covered as well the next highlighting feature of iOS is the google play store and we have access to all the applications just like Chrome OS and they also have their own Fido OS app store and they have redesigned it and now it has the categories for the web apps we have themes and even uh, android apps and these are the real apk files so you can just click on the get icon beside the app name and you will notice that it has uh, started downloading so while it's downloading you can see that we have the uh, themes here as well that I've said and this is how it looks on the Chrome browser so once the APK file has been downloaded you can simply double click and then accept the uh, the condition and then just install the application so just like your Android phone you can sideload applications and this is how it looks it has opened up you can sign up and start using so it's great that you are not dependent on the Google Play Store and you can use the Fido's App Store or sideload applications. Also from here only you can install the Google Play Store. So open the uh, configure open G apps then add it and uh, you, it will start downloading once you accept. Now open it up, accept the conditions and start the installation process. After it's going to install and then you will see a reboot icon and then you will have your Google Play Store. So now coming to the file manager you will notice a little file drop icon and this is really necessary you will see why later but this works just like snap drop if you have used it you can just uh, uh, open up the uh, link on your other device and send files and you can see even it says here snap drop so this is really necessary because uh, even after installing the open g apps we do not see the option for the nearby share so file drop uh, acts as an alternative to share files and we also have do not have the google assistant here so that's also another disadvantage so let's uh, test some android games so i open up the bgmi which is a popular android game also the free fire and uh, bgmi after a while it says that uh, uh, it's detected is at emulator and it will not let you play the game like you see here before it uh, used to i don't know why they have stopped it and the similar case is for the free fire they detect the emulator but here actually you can play the game it will match you with other emulator players so we have advantage in the free fire and it works really fine you can see uh, we do not have the keyword mapping so you have to use either your mouse which is not uh, playable but you can use your gaming controller or something so at least this game is working i also tried call of duty and that was also not working so i don't know why they have not optimized it for the chrome os yeah other games uh, like uh, subway surfer free fire doctor driving other games do work fine so you can be assured that uh, you will have a good android gaming experience and not just android games you can use creative tools like the kind master to edit videos you can use the store option to access to different effects transitions not just kind master you can use other applications as well if you use that like power director or InShot and uh, these are for the android tools you can also use the linux we will talk about that later and for your office work you can use the wps office the android application is very popular for editing the powerpoint or word excel sheets and all of them work uh, quite well here without any issues of course you can use the LibreOffice or even microsoft office if you want and uh, similar to chrome os you can activate the linux subsystem and use all the linux uh, features like the app store the games and you can check out my chrome os videos for the linux and all those will be applicable here as well so you must try that in the settings a lot of it are similar to the chrome os but i have found some exclusive fido settings 
like the tablet mode here so it's exclusive if you want to use it on tablet we have uh, something called create backup so it can create a whole backup of your system with your apps and everything and you can save it to your uh, preferred storage you can also use external storage if you want and then restore it easily so this is a, real, a really cool addition to the fido os which you will not see even in the chrome os or chrome os flex also to activate the material u feature in the new fido s17 update you need to enable all these flags on the chrome flag section so search for jelly then enable everything that you see and, we, and you can do the same for also to enable the the tab layout for the multitasking like you see here so you need to enable it through flags and this is really helpful and uh, for multitasking if you want to use two windows side by side and this is for the material u and you can see this is um, how it looks but i'm not sure if it should look like this because on their website uh, we have these new options for the colors and accent which i'm not seeing on my fido s even after uh, multiple restarts uh, maybe it will be fixed for me in the later update i don't know if it's just for me but i find the fido s to be much smoother even compared to the chrome os or chrome os flex for even with the google play store and everything it works much smoother and of course this will vary from processor to processor so now let's continue with the installation part so first you need to visit their website and make sure you choose the correct version for your processor and nvidia graphics is not supported we have for the amd or intel graphics so i'm going to choose that and you can just directly download it from this link and addition to that we also need the balina etcher which will be used to create the bootable pen drive so after downloading both of the files we will open the balina app etcher application now select the file that we have downloaded the iso file for the fido is the recommended pen drive size is 8 gb or above so uh, use that now we can start the flashing process and this is going to take some time and once the flashing process is done what you need to do is power off your computer then press the power button and the bios key and find options related to secure boot and disable that and if you have already disabled the secured boot you can power off then press the boot menu key and access the boot menu and then from the boot menu you have to select your pen drive for me this is the second option now you will see the fido s boot logo and uh, select your language then we can start the installation process so we have two options either to install or try it you can try it out if you want to see some of these features now we have two options for installation either the single boot or in dual boot so i'm going to select the single boot option and after the single boot you need to select the uh, storage location and the installation will start and it's going to take some time and once the installation is complete you can use the reboot option to restart your computer now we have to go through the same uh, setup process you can read the terms and conditions fido is open source and uh, now we have the option to log in using the fido account or google account but if you're not comfortable you can use the local account which i recommend then just uh, create a local account which will require a username and password so let's continue with the local account select your theme and now we are done and you can enjoy the new fido s 17 and this is a much better alternative to chrome os with google play store support so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching